Welcome to Module 1, Part 2. Which one of these is more important is the question. This is the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity and availability. So here in this picture, we have given equal importance to confidentiality, integrity and availability. There need not be confidentiality or there can be less confidentiality. There can be less availability, but that cannot be, the integrity cannot be touched. Let's see in the subsequent slides. Low availability is, this is the low availability, but the integrity and the confidentiality is there. Supposing you have a document, an MOU or very secret document or an agreement with another company, that agreement need not be available 24 hours online. You can keep it under safe custody and whenever it is required, you can take it back. So availability can be a little lower there in the CIA trial. Low confidentiality is, supposing if you take a web application, a website, the website, the data integrity must be there and the website must be available 24 hours online. But the confidentiality need not be there. It can be less otherwise. So the low confidentiality applies to such occasions. A company will have basically a perimeter security. The devices are the IDS intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system. You have two devices intrusion detection. It will detect and give an alarm. Intrusion prevention system can even prevent from occurring that attack. Firewall is a perimeter device where you can define the rules. According to the rules, the firewall will drop or reject or send the packet or redirect the packets or you can create an end-to-end -end tunneling VPN. A lot of capabilities are there for the firewalls. Routers or routers are required to establish communication between two different or two or more different networks. If you want to connect with the internet and the communication has to happen between different networks, you definitely must have the routers. Switches are required to connect many systems in local network. We will see in another slide. Endpoints are your endpoint devices where the users are creating their document, your endpoint desktops and uh, endpoint devices. And we are going to discuss what is defense in depth in a moment. IDS or intrusion detection system. An IDS is a security software or hardware device to monitor, detect and protect network. So it can monitor, it can detect and it can give an alarm to the uh, administrator so that the network can be protected from malicious activities. IDS monitors both inbound and outbound traffic. Inbound and outbound traffic means, inbound means any traffic which is coming to inside the organization. Outbound means any traffic which is going out from the organization. Suppose you are accessing www.yahoo.com. That means the organization, from the organization, the data is going outbound and the response is coming back to inbound. So inbound and outbound traffic can be monitored by IDS and it is monitoring for finding out any suspicious activity. IDS checks traffic for signature. Signature is nothing but the patterns. So if at all there is an attack, every attack will have a pattern. So that is what is referred actually by the word signature. Signature that match known intrusion patterns. IDS is used to detect intrusions while IPS intrusion prevention system used to detect and prevent intrusions. The point is IDS cannot stop the attack. It can detect and make an alarm to us whereas intrusion prevention system has the capability even to change the firewall rules where you can prevent the attack. Types of IDS, HIDS and NIDS. HIDS is IDS that operate on a single workstation or known as host based intrusion detection. NIDS is network level intrusion uh, detection, NIDS. So HIDS and NIDS are two different types of, basically it's a categorization. Host based IDS. Host based, host means the base system, the endpoint. You can refer to the endpoint. HIDS analyze each system's behavior, how the system behaves. HIDSs can be installed on any system ranging from desktop PC to a server. Even inside, if you have a server, you can install the 
ideas on that or on a desktop or a laptop PC you can install. Detects unauthorized file modification. The HIDs focus on Windows operating system. There are separate HIDs for Unix platform. So the detection of uh, any system changes or unauthorized file modification or behavior or too much of logs in this fraction of a second all that can be detected by the host based intrusion detection system network based ideas is examines the packets entering the network for the presence of any anomalies and incorrect data it is at the network level not at the host level and nids generates alerts based on the content of the packet basically the network intrusion system works based on the content of the packet for example the packet is coming inside the port number is 80 which should be an http traffic but if the content is a malicious javascript which is not an http request or a response then the network based ideas can stop it it detects malicious activity such as dos attack port scan or attempt of any kind of breach Motion detectors provide physical intrusion detection. We have uh, physical security. In that chapter, we will discuss the motion detectors and all that for the physical security in India. This is an example given here. Signature based. The need for updating an antivirus regularly is to update the virus signature. The antivirus company will keep on updating new new virus signatures and that has to be downloaded onto your machine. That means the updation of the signature. If that is not there, if you have not updated, then when such a new attack comes to your machine, it will not be able to find out that. IDS use the known pattern called signature detection. We already discussed what is the signature. Signature based detection is not that effective in today's threat perspective. Only signature based detection is not effective. IDS provide alerts and alarms when it detects any malicious content from entering a computer. Supposing IDS detected malicious communication, it can send an alert, it can send a mail, it can send an SMS or it can send another notification to the uh, administrator so that he can take care of the communication. Anomaly detection. Anomaly means something abnormal. That is what it means. The difference in current network traffic and normal network traffic are called as anomaly detection or ADS. Anomaly based ideas catches the data from the network that applies its rules to the data or detect differences in them. Let us understand this. Look at this picture. Anomaly based detection from the internet. This is the corporate LAN in between at the perimeter You have something known as a firewall. This is the perimeter device and you have IDS also These details are something known as baselining baselining is nothing but this is the usual communication pattern understanding the usual communication pattern or Understanding the base of your network is something known as baseline so that any abnormalities you can identify Here there are TCP packet 100 packet per second UDP packets are 112 packets per second ICMP packets are 43 packets per second. So these are some of the examples in the baseline of the organization There is an alert coming the UDP packet is normally it should be 112 per second, but there is a hike 425 packets per second. This is something abnormal. This is the anomaly. That's what is anomaly based detection. So any abnormal pattern in the communication is known as the anomaly detection. Not only the communication, any other, maybe the process or the logs, anything it can be. If something which is abnormal, that is anomaly. Please follow the continuation part. Thank you.